Hey guys, so I'm finally back in El Salvador, but as I said in my last video, I'm gonna do two videos from my trip back to the United States, which I just recently took. And so I did one video about my grandparents' farmhouse, which is like my favorite place in the world. Um, you can check that out on my channel. And then today's video is gonna be about my favorite hikes in Western North Carolina, which there are like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and I didn't have time to do all of them but these are just going to be a couple of my all-time favorites and they're all day hikes so if you're ever in that area there are places you can go just to spend the day have a picnic with your family and all of them are either free or only like the most is maybe five dollars to get in but yeah I hope you like it Where are we, Drake? Where are we? The Yellow Mountain Trail, Highlands, North Carolina. And how long is this trail? Six and a half miles, one way. It's a 13 miles round trip. What do you think the difficulty level is? Hard, it's very hard. <laughs> it just gets harder and harder. The further you go, the harder it gets. And can someone do this trail in one day? Yes. How many hours? It took us like four. Bring some food.
Okay, so we are on another popular trail here in Western North Carolina. Where are we, Drake? We're at Siler Bald on the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, so this is just a little piece of many that are included on the Appalachian Trail. How long do you think this hike takes the average person? <laughs> About an hour, hour and a half. And the difficulty level? I'd say moderate, easy to moderate. Yeah, so this is another good hike if you don't have a lot of time. It's just a nice day hike. Okay, so we just finished hiking Siler Bald and right down the road, about 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, about 10 minutes down the road, there's this trail. It's backwards in the camera. <laughs> it's called Rufus Morgan Trailhead. It's just right off the road, the main road. So this one's not very long, maybe a mile tops. And it's supposed to have a really beautiful waterfall at the end of it. So we're gonna check that out. Okay, now we are at Devil's Courthouse in Haywood County. It's a kind of short hike. It's right off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. And it's like straight uphill, but it's not that long of a hike. So I guess just depending on how fast you can walk, hopefully it doesn't take us longer than like 20, 30 minutes tops. But the top is worth it. The view is beautiful.
Okay, now we're here at Graveyard Fields and apparently the reason it has this name is because for many many years when you came here it looked like you were in a graveyard because all of the tree trunks were like thrown by the wind and broken and they were covered in dark moss so they, their silhouettes just looked like a graveyard but um this sign says that in 1925 there was a large fire and it destroyed all of that so now there's new vegetation here as you'll see in a minute so it doesn't look so haunted <laughs> so to be honest um i think this trail is more for maybe like families with small children or elderly people i mean it's for everyone but it's just very easy and it's all flat and very simple all of the trails are nicely kept and they have wooden bridges so yeah this would be a good place to come if uh, you have limitations All right, now we are hiking up Albert Mountain to the fire tower. We're near Hayesville, North Carolina, and it's a pretty short hike. Like, one mile, right? A quarter. A quarter of a mile, it's only a quarter of a mile. The drive here is rid ridiculous, but the view should be pretty. We went right down the road to a place called Pickens Nose. And again, this is a very short hike, but check it out. <laughs> very beautiful view. And it's not too difficult. But I mean, both of these hikes are pretty far out of the way, but they're worth it. They're really beautiful and they're easy. <laughs>
now I am at Water Knock, Water Rock, <laughs> what is it called? Water Rock Knob. Um, there is actually a giant rainstorm coming. I don't know if you see that, so I don't know if we're gonna have time to hike all of it. We're gonna try to do it. Um, just to get to the overlook, it says it's only like 0.2 miles, but I know that this trail, you, if you kind of go off the trail, the, you can hike for miles and miles on this thing, just kind of like off the beaten path. But this one, um, definitely a must. I really like this trail a lot. It's beautiful. And again, it's something like simple that you can come and get a pretty view very quickly if you don't have a lot of time. So yeah, I'll show you the view. Just a quick shot. <laughs> Hopefully the rain doesn't come. <laughs> 